While astronaut Scott Kelly spent seven hours walking in the terrifying void of space, you probably missed the tiny springing cube, the motobot that goes 125 miles an hour, and the reclining desk you have to see to both lust and hate. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the worst part about adulthood isn't builds or annoying relationships. It's caring about your goddamn posture all the time. And I, actually, I'm sorry, I can't, I just, I need to go do some yoga. I Sitting and slouching decreases productivity, inhibits creativity, and is just generally bad for our long-term health. Alt work is giving a shit about your ugly slouching with this savior-esque video announcing a new reclining desk. The Alt Workstation gives four postures, sitting, standing, collaborating, otherwise known as gently moving the screen, and full on nap time, I mean recline, which they're calling focus because they've been in the Bay Area too long. Although that mode is when the engineering looks extra badass, but it'll also cost you just under $4,000 for pre-order. Also, to keep that cool balance, it weighs 210 pounds. So why hasn't someone built a workstation like this before? because it's really, really hard. Really? So why hasn't someone built a workstation like this before? Because it's really, really hard. In a friendly or creepy challenge to motorcycling champ Valentino Rossi, Yamaha just teased its autonomous motorcycle robot. Details are thin, but Motobot is a humanoid robot riding a Yamaha 1000cc R1M superbike. Motobot uses its cold, inhuman grippers and flippers to operate the unmodified bike's brakes, throttle, and clutch. We're not gonna insult his training wheels. It's not too mean, he's a robot. The goal, Yamaha says, is to take what it learns from racing its robot at speeds over 125 miles per hour and use the tech in rider safety and other future projects. Meanwhile, poor DARPA bots can barely open a door. MIT researchers are thinking a little smaller with a robotic cube capable of jumping over obstacles using a series of motorized metal springs. Each of the springs is anchored to one of a pair of motors inside the cube. As the motors turn, the other end flicks out from the cube and launches it into the air like a tiny mechanical pole vaulter. The researchers hope to eventually add stronger motors and miniature cameras, allowing swarms of these machines to sprong their way over rough terrain as mobile sensor networks. That's actually good, because not many non-robots can keep up with me. And finally, many of you will be celebrating Halloween early tomorrow at work. So do the right thing and order up a zombie for that coworker you want to scare the bejesus out of. Courtesy of driver on demand service Lyft and only available in some cities. God, I hope I get one. See you tomorrow.